just quickly, I want to go through Kevin's five tips for online security. And number one, you say use a password manager to create complicated, randomized passwords, because if we do it ourselves, there'll be a pattern. You say purchase a VPN, that's a virtual private network. So anytime you use an open wireless network, it's dangerous. So VPN is a virtual private network, you can sign up for those. So anytime you use a wireless network in a hotel, in an airport or whatever, always use a VPN. It's super cheap and will protect your communications. And finally, um, there's a great home course that you could look, you could access for free online, www.nobefore.com slash home course, and then put in the password home course, and it walks you through all the areas in cybersecurity that you can improve on, even protect your kids online, and it's absolutely free. Thank you so much Thank for you, doing Phil. all this. I really Thank appreciate you. it. I highly recommend that you pick up his latest book, the Art of Invisibility, it is really good and it will keep you safe. We'll see you next time. <clears throat> well, I hope you found that interesting. Did you? Is that scary? And uh, I, I don't know much about computers, um, but we have a granddaughter and a grandson and they're like, all over the place. I mean, kids know how to do this to you know, Avery and London, and boy, are they fast. Uh, but we need to know this stuff because um, I got an email uh, just last week. My son got one, Jay. Um, he got an email that says, you have been hacked. And to prove it, here's your phone number. And you're a member at this club, and to tell you that we know that for sure, there's an event coming up on this date at your club, and the person that won that tournament last year is so-and-so. So it gave a lot of information, and it said, you need to pay us $1,000, or we're getting ready to dump all your emails and information onto the, just out into the public. And if you don't do it in a week, then it's gonna be $2,000. Now, I knew this was a scam because they would have asked him for a hell of a lot more money than $2,000. <laughs> and a week later, I got the same email referencing the same club that I'm also a member of, and I was really pissed. They only asked me for 500 bucks. <laughs> uh, but, this is what they're talking about. They did have a, a phone number. They did have some private information. As it turned out, they had hacked the club's mailing list. And so we called and like 50 people in the club had gotten information, had gotten these emails staggered out across time. But people responded, particularly people that don't know anything about it. So it's really easy to get hacked. And this two-factor authentication, I think, is a big deal that we can do. And what he was saying about this password manager that you can engage where you don't have to remember one thing and it's a sentence, and then they just all pop up for you, that just seems like a really good idea, don't you think? Because they randomize these 20-digit passwords and all of that, because I can't ever remember my passwords. But if all I have to remember is a sentence, that can be something just I know that seems good. But that would be terrifying to be sitting in your home and somebody starts talking to you, calling you by name. And a lot of people have cameras inside their homes, right? Because baby cams and nanny cams and stuff like that. So I, I thought it was interesting. So I hope you all did. I hope you do something about it. You know, that's the key. We got, I'm going to.